The reason why I call this video advanced settings for Logitech MX series mouses because I haven't found any other video where somebody's talking about them. Now I want to share some settings that I use which are helping me to save a lot of time when I'm working on some projects. I have been using MX Master 2 about a year and after a while using the MX Master 3 I don't really see a reason for upgrading. There is only one thing I would like to change, that's the USB Type-C. But not because of the quick charge, but just because I don't want to carry with me all the time another cable for charging only this thing. But that's not a big deal because once I charge this one, it works I think about 2 months. The quick charge for this new version is really great. You can charge it for 1 minute and use it for 3 hours. Or fully charged you can use it for 70 days. I don't want to talk about the difference between these two because here in YouTube you can find some videos where they are covering this in details. Let's switch to my laptop where I will show you the settings I was talking about, which will work for both of those. This is the Logitech Options program where I've connected both my mouses. I will go with my old version. By default, all those buttons are programmed to do some functions. For example, this one right here is the gesture button. I hope that's the correct name for it. Where I'm clicking once, it can show me the task view. And when I click and go up and down, it will show me the desktop. And you can customize all those functions to perform whatever you want. And this button right here is the switch button for the middle wheel, which is switching the mode for the scrolling wheel from, uh, from spinning freely to regular. And I'm not using that one because I have enabled this smart shift function and I set the sensitivity where I can just use it regular, like normal like this, or I can do it a little bit harder and it spins freely. So I don't use that button. And because of that, I have changed this one to a gesture button. And this one is performing for me five functions now. Zoom reset is for my Chrome. When I'm browsing online and I need to zoom and zoom reset is just, I just use it sometimes. And when I click and drag up and down, it brings my volume up and down. And when I click and go to the right, it brings me this program. I mean. Maybe you don't have that problem for this thing, but sometimes I don't know why this is going off and I need to all the time turn it on and off. So I was looking the options to fix it and it was not happening. So if you know how to solve this, please help me with that. And of course the opening the PC, so it's just opening the PC. And sorry about this one. That's really funny. And by saying advanced settings, I mean you can change all these buttons to gesture buttons and instead of performing one function, they can perform up to five functions. For example, middle button is also a gesture button and is performing five functions, which mostly I use in a Google Chrome. And now I want to show you how to customize any button to perform up to five functions. This one right here is not possible to make a gesture button because this one is not clickable and I think horizontal scroll is the by default but I don't use it that much so I changed it to increase and decrease my brightness and whenever I go down my brightness of my screen goes down and up of course it goes up so let's see how we can make this one to perform up to five functions so I click here first then I have gesture button option and by default it's selecting some of these kind of pre-customized versions but I'm going to custom and I can just go here customize so just by clicking I want to do it its original thing back click and go up I will just for demonstration now I will go maximize the window then going down let's make it minimize and side what can we have what can we, oh we can have yeah this we can type here control w and this one can just leave empty so now when i hover over it it's saying gesture button and this one is only forward and now i can open the pc and clicking by clicking this one and holding and dragging up it's maximizing you do it again it's coming back to the regular size i can just minimize it by dragging back i can go to task open this one 
so uh, yeah if you want to go to some folder you can go there and just one click it does its original function just backwards and forward of course is performing its thing it's really nice to have this kind of options in your mouse which I use a lot when I have them side by side I don't really see a big thing for me to upgrade to this one I have mentioned already the USB type C thing which this supports and another huge thing here is this wheel like it's really quiet there is no nothing you just like this is free fall uh, free fall this is free spin and this is the regular you always have this sound whenever you're recording uh, audio and you have the mouse to work on something you always have this sound this is not a huge deal for me and i don't really see a need for me to upgrade to this one and some people have been complaining about these buttons like this one right here they have upgraded is more more closer so you don't need to go like all the way back where here you do but i kind of got used to it and i don't see a uh, huge thing for me to upgrade to this and yeah what i don't like in here is this whole why is it here <laughs> i mean really all this will do will collect the dust inside that's it and i was pissed when i got this one you can't even see but there is like a tiny small gap here and i went back to store i asked another one and i took that one it was exactly the same so i was like okay i can live with this but still both of them are great i like it no matter whichever you choose they are customizable which is the main key here for me at least this first part I've been recording about two weeks ago when I was working in Hamburg. Now I'm back in Berlin and this is my home office kind of place. Before ending this video I just want to add one more thing. Even in the original video from Logitech they are not saying that all the buttons can become gesture buttons and perform up to five functions. This video is really random on my channel. Normally I'm uploading some uh, videos from my performances, my travel and training or vlogging but because I like this technology and I didn't find that information maybe this can help somebody else. And if you got some value, please leave me a like and subscribe and see you in the next videos. Just very quick guys, I want to show you how I'm recording this video. I'm in a hotel room and I don't have any tripod with me. So this is my camera hanging there and I use this as a tripod. And those are my socks for support. And the sun is my lighting for today and I wish you have a good day guys. Thank you.